Hello and welcome to another episode of Zoo Crafting. That's a little okay. There we go. <laughs> There's a ceiling there. So welcome back to another episode of Zoo Crafting. Last time we finished up the stingray tank. Unfortunately, I don't think. Can I cheat? There we go. I don't think that I have any stingrays on me. <laughs> So we can't populate the tank at the moment, unfortunately. Um, wait a second. There's something going on here. Hold up, hold up. This, this, this clam in the sand is spreading, isn't it? I don't remember putting so much of it here. Uh, guys, I think it's spreading. Um, um, well, it might end up being a clam exhibit. I did not expect that to spread. And I just noticed, I was like, every time that I hopped in here, one thing would just have uh, kind of popped out of its place and it would just be hanging there like that. I was like, why? Why does it keep doing that? Apparently, it's because it's getting knocked off its block because the clams and the sand are spreading. I didn't know. I don't know how to stop it either. Um, I would really prefer for the entire exhibit not to be made out of clams and sand, as fantastic as the clams and sand are. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out a way to stop that from spreading. Oh dear. Oh dear. I added a sign! <laughs> so it's a little bit more clear that you can't really go swimming. So, and then I did some benches. They still might be a little bit too high, but they look a little bit better than the one that we made in the video the other day. <laughs> Um, so I just did uh, mangrove wood and the light blue stained wool um, just to be kind of in keeping. The color, the colors kind of match. Unfortunately, the wool, the dyed wool and the dyed mangrove don't 100% match, but I don't think it looks too bad. So I put two benches down there rather than one long bench. Uh, I think it just looks nicer and that way it doesn't look too crowded. And then I added an NPC for whenever I can make uh, the skins and things like that and the interactions for a biologist to be here. And you know, the interactions of course also depend on what species of stingray that we put in here. And then I put another bench up here, which you guys might have seen. It's just kind of a little nook. Um, this is obviously going to be developed as we go, so we might add things, we might remove things, like the bench or something like that. We might move things around. It just depends on what else we put where. So today, I'm thinking we need to do a little bit of housekeeping. I have nothing there that needs to be taken care of, but I do have... Let's, let's not punch the carpenter's block. I have a bunch of... <laughs> animals that need to be uh, taken care of. So we have another pug, a squid, a sea turtle, which we will need to um, make their exhibit pretty soon. Uh, another small fish, dolphin. I have two dolphins. Uh, another small fish, a, pir a piranha. <laughs> we'll have to put that over in River Aquarium. I forgot that I got a piranha. I think it looked like a small fish and I just picked it up thinking, oh, that'll be a small fish that we can put somewhere. No, it's a piranha. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, we have a couple of sea turtles from Ben. These definitely won't despawn. That's pretty exciting. We have a, zo a zombie villager that we will need to give to Siri at some point. We have another fish. We have our dolphin. So I, I, okay. So this scorp, this is Scorpio, is the dolphin that we caught when we were working on the fort. That was kind of a while ago. Yeah, wasn't it? Oh, no, that's Gemini. Okay, so Gemini is the one that I found in my quarantine pool. And guess what she is, you guys? I do believe she is a pink dolphin. Which, I don't know if you guys know much about dolphins, but there are 
real pink dolphins in the wild. They're Amazon pink river dolphins. I don't know the exact name, but they're in the Amazon river and they're pink dolphins. Um, so they're freshwater. So whenever we get around to the river aquarium, I want to make a freshwater dolphin exhibit. That would be really fun. Um, and I hear Pavo is making an Amazonian section in his zoo. So we might need to get the breeding center up and going over in the research render research and rescue center. All of this is a tongue twister <laughs> so that we can maybe um, breed a couple dolphins and get another pink dolphin. Uh, and then this one, Scorpio. Scorpio is the one that we caught. So yeah, I had never seen a pink dolphin before, uh, even online on the Mo Creatures wiki. Uh, I wasn't expecting them to be that pink, but they are really pink. So what we're going to do today is drop off these animals over in the oceanarium, um, the little entry, and we're going to work on cleaning some things up. So yeah, there's a couple of exciting things coming up. Um, we might want to keep the sea turtles with us, but it'll be a little while until we get around to that section for the exhibit. So I might just keep them in the oceanarium entrance in a little cryo chamber until we get that done so that they don't get lost or misplaced. It's always a good idea to be organized, especially when you're dealing with live animals. <laughs> Otherwise they might, uh, might never return, which is not good. <laughs> All right. I really, I really need to rethink the placement of Gully. Cause this is kind of far to swim. <laughs> um, might need to rethink the approach. So I also haven't fixed the uh, the great bombing. Uh, not ocean diver, the entrance. We're going to the entrance, and I am going to have a little starfruit smoothie snack, which was delicious. Ow! Oh, hello! Don't. Find me. Where's your friends? There's your friend. Don't jump on my head. Please. Please. Okay. I think we're good to go. I always forget that there's slimes that spawn. There we go. And I've also been growing a lot of vines. Not here necessarily, but it seems like it's spreading a lot. It's the burgundy flowering vine. I think that makes red dye. Oh, we're going here. I, I get sidetracked. I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, so let's see, did I? No, I didn't organize this at all. Except for that. So we have <laughs> a lot of whales. We have an orca, a horse, a sheep. That's the pirate sheep. Tiny bird. Another dolphin. <laughs> we have another dolphin, you guys. I'm gonna start running out of uh, zodiac names. Small fish, fishy. Manta ray, manta ray, manta ray. Well, you will have to make the manta ray exhibit here pretty soon. Because we have a lot of manta rays. Um, and then here's the ants and the pugs and uh, penguin. Does not belong there. A couple sharks. Oh, we should put them in the shark tank. Uh, we have a narwhal, a right whale, and a blue whale. So nothing really for our coastal area. So let's go ahead. No, no, no. There we go. And remove pug, squid, sea turtle. Another small fish, small fish, Pira piranha. The sea turtles. We'll keep the zombie in here as a reminder that I need to give that to Siri pretty soon. And there we go. In. There we go. Marvelous. So, um. Stick the sea turtle there. Squid can go there. I'm trying to keep this organized, but I don't know how well that's going to work. Oh, that's my reusable safari net. We'll need a transfer. A fish. A piranha can go there. Just to separate it from the small fish so I don't forget about it again. Uh, and the pug. The pug can go there. So let's transfer nobody else in a reusable net yep the squid is i knew it we're gonna have to make some more safari nets here pretty soon so let's go to the water release them and hopefully we catch them sea turtle 
Captured. Squid. Oh, oh. There we go. Captured. Marvelous. And we got our reusable safari nets back. Look at all this clay. <gasps> what are you? Elegance coral. Well, you are mightily elegant. Quite pretty indeed. Okay. How do we get out of here? There we go. That is the unofficial transfer station for the Oceanarium. <laughs> Just the ocean itself. Okay, squid. And sea turtle! Yay! We have our reusable safari nets back. So I only have two. <laughs> I need to figure out how I can get more. We also will probably need to make something else that can carry that those two dolphins around. Or we should just go ahead and put them in the research and rescue center. We might do that at some point. Get rid of the uh, clutter in the cryo chamber. <gasps> There's a horse. <laughs> the horse is visiting the oceanarium. <laughs> All right, and it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. We are going to Pirate's Alley. I didn't really want to uh, record on such a gloomy day, but you know, it's gotta rain sometime, right? It's gotta rain sometime. So what we're gonna do now, since we organized all of our animals, you can see the fairy lights before the wall is spun. That was pretty cool. Um, is we are going to go through and start clearing out the areas for our crab exhibit and our tortoise exhibit. And I will have a question for you guys about which one we should work on first. So there will be a straw poll in the description below. And if you have annotations on, if I remember, cough, cough, narrating. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I will put a uh, annotation in the video itself. Um, you'll be able to view that if you have an an if you have the annotations on, which is a setting that I'm I usually have turned off. So uh, just so you know, and you can go ahead and vote, and we'll decide which one we start with. So I know we did a kind of a walkthrough not too long ago, but up on this hilltop is where we're going to put the tortoises. And over here is going to be the crab exhibit. I'm not quite sure what species of crab yet. I'll have to look into it. But the crabs are going to go here. And they'll kind of have a uh, land and water exhibit. That also depends on the species of crab as to how much water they have or how much land they have. They might be more aquatic or they might be more land based. I'm not quite sure, but it's going to go on this little peninsula. And then over here on top of this mountain, which you might terraform a little bit, but you know, that's what a good staircase is for, right? Here we go. Mountaineering, you guys in the Caribbean. <laughs> There's actually uh, quite decent mountains in the Caribbean. Um, and actually we could probably get into that when we're doing the tortoise exhibit because uh, the Caribbean actually has a rather interesting geological history. And uh, most islands are different from each other. Uh, but aside from that, uh, I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide between two species of tortoise. And I might just go ahead and do both. But that really assumes that I know how to make the model for the tortoise and be able to implement the model because I have never really worked with any of that before. I, I have no idea how um, the fellow zoo crafters are uh, putting in red pandas. I have no idea how that works. So it'll be a good adventure. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of doing the gopher tortoise, which is native to the southeastern United States. Um, and they actually, so the ones that live uh, along the coast, because they live kind of all over, uh, but the ones that live along the coast actually burrow into the dunes. Um, which is rather cool. So they are kind of a coastal species and they would uh, probably be rather happy with a sandy environment. And then also the red-footed tortoise, which is more of a northern South American uh, Costa Rica Panama species. Um, and they might even be on Trinidad, but I know Trinidad is kind of close to South America. So I'm thinking of those two species um, since we're focusing on the Caribbean. Um, 
So yeah, they're gonna go here. And I, I'm leaning towards doing both just so that, you know, we can learn about two different species of tortoise that are kind of in the same region of the world, but one's north and one's south. Um, and yeah, we'll have to build that here. And wow, that is a lit up like a birthday cake. It's really bright. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's comforting. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work on clearing this out. But again, if you would like to vote on which exhibit we do first, either the crab exhibit, and if you have any species suggestions for crabs, please let me know. I am going to do some research as well to find out what uh, cool species are in the Caribbean and what we could feasibly do and all that fun stuff. Um, so. The, um, it'll be a straw poll, so the vote will be to start on the tortoise exhibit or the crab exhibit first. And we're going to do both, but I just want to get your input on which one we should do first. There's so much dead grass. I really don't like all this dead grass. These are short mangrove trees as well. So we are actually going to clear out the mangrove trees. Some of them, not all, mind you, and we want you because we also want to collect some of the leaves. If we cut down all of them, we won't get too many saplings, but I already have a decent amount of saplings. So I shouldn't worry too much about getting that. And you, my friend, can go as well. There we go. Really, really short. <laughs> and we'll clear out these because they belong to that tree that we just chopped down. There we go. And I also don't know if I want to keep any of this dead grass. I really don't like the way that it looks, but you know, it, it's here, so it's obviously a thing in this kind of environment, but I don't really like the idea of having dead grass. It just, it's dead. <laughs> it's not really useful. Although it might be, I'm not quite sure. It just doesn't seem too useful to me when it's dead. Okay, so that's pretty well cleared off. And um, yeah, we'll need to flatten it a little bit to get more space and to, you know, reduce the amount of stairs we have to put in. But over here, I think it would be really cool to put in a bridge um, over this. Oh, wait, there's a grave. There's a grave, you guys. Oh, I don't have chat turned on. <laughs> uh, let's see, real quick, real quick, real quick. Kate burned to death, had lived 49 days. Well, that's kind of depressing. That's really depressing. <laughs> I have chat turned off because uh, there's a couple other people online. Let's go ahead and remove that. Just uh, for peace of mind. My apologies, Kate. You're, oh, <gasps> wait. Oh, oh no, there's a gas tear. Rotten flesh, gunpowder, and a bone. Well, my apologies, Kate. I will put your gravestone over in the cemetery when we get to that piece. <laughs> but yeah, so like a cool little bridge going over and um, kind of having a little glade down here would be really cool. Um, some town buildings are also going to be nestled in between all of these exhibits. Uh, so we'll work on that. I really want to get the exhibits kind of laid out first so that um, they can take priority in terms of space. Um, but we'll, it's, it's a process. We'll, uh, we'll keep changing things as we go. Adapting, as you will. So, doo -doo -doo. this is a job and a half clearing out all of this dead grass. Ugh, my goodness. Ooh, hello. Oh, there's a, there's a fossil, you guys. <gasps> Sandstone fossil ore. Oh dear. Okay. How? There we go. You really shouldn't be there anyway, because you could fall on somebody, and that would be dangerous. <laughs> I don't want anybody suffocating at my park. That would not be good. Look at all this dead grass, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I think... <laughs> I dislike dead grass as much as I like sea oats. As much as I dislike sea, sea oats, I don't, I don't like sea oats. They just, they breed. There's so many of them. 
So many. <laughs> Way too many of them. Okay, I think that'll be it for today. You guys kind of have an idea of how I want to clear out this stuff. And, you know, all these mangrove trees that I'm cutting down, I will put some back. Uh, just to be, you know, more sustainable. But, um, just so that they don't look funky. Like, this one's just kind of floating here. <laughs> we'll, we'll put them in and around the exhibits and uh, make sure that they're not going to die pretty soon. Like, this one looks like it's going to fall over. And these two do as well. I'm not even quite sure if it's one tree or two trees. So, yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh, oh, oh. I think. That is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, please vote if you would like to see either the crab exhibit being built first or the tortoise exhibit being built first. And at some point we will get stingrays to put in the stingray exhibit. We'll just have to go on a quest to find some, but I do have uh, tortoises and crabs. So once we finish those exhibits, we'll definitely be able to put the animals in. <laughs> once I figure out how to do the uh, model texture thing. <laughs> <laughs> so again, please vote. The link is in the description and I will see you next time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.